Right, here's a reminder of just how to do your tonal shading, just in case some of you have forgotten. I'm just gonna do it with uh, a red color pencil um, and I'm gonna press really hard. And then as I move down the line, I'm going to just ease off. Okay, so just observe, pressing hard to get the darkest shade possible. And then I'm going to, as I come down, I'm going to ease off the pressure ever so slightly so that I get the lightest shade that I can there in that red colour pencil. Just go over it a little bit. And do the same again with black. So press really hard. Slowly ease off the pressure. This way you can see exactly what you can get out of your pencil. I'll do it with brown. I'm just using these colours because these colours you might use um, for your pepper drawing. You might actually go over um, the red a little bit just to sort of darken that. I'll just go over, going now in the different direction, but I can mix two colors together. You can use circular motions as well, just to blend the colors. You shouldn't really see your pencil mark. I might, if I wanted to make this slightly dark brown, if you don't have a dark brown pencil, you can just go over it with a little bit of black. Look, and I'm just gonna darken that ever so slightly there. Okay, so you can get a multitude of colors out of your whatever pencil colors you've got at home. You just need to practice this if you want to make your drawing look effective.